Welcome back to the channel guys. It's been a long time since I actually picked up the camera. It's been about almost a month. It's kind of crazy. Look, my hair's changed. It's looking a little bit cleaner. Some guys said get a haircut. Dude, come on man. Just, just wait and see the vision. Like seriously bro. We got a lot of things to do today. So my car is leaking water. It smells like complete dank right now. All right, so you see that hole right there, that green thing? I kind of patched it up with masking tape because there's supposed to be a rubber plug that goes right there. And pretty much ever since when I first took apart the car when we were getting uh, the FD2 conversion on, I saw that rubber boot and was like, damn, this thing looks crusty, so I'm gonna just take it out and replace it, and I never bought it. So that thing is just leaking water in here. And on the Bay Area, it's been raining like crazy. Andrew over here, don't know what he's up to. Huh? We have to go get my camera fixed. I have a Sony a6300 camera. That's what I use to film cinematics and stuff. But unfortunately, that camera broke almost a year ago because the SD card slot thing just doesn't work anymore. I don't know. And I tried fixing it by like shoving a fork in there, which was not bright, but like it was, something was like blocking it and I kind of messed it up. So. Yeah, I'm gonna have a professional fix that. So we have a lot of things to do today. And the main part of this video, Andrew has some pedals that he wants to install. Let me just show you the previous pedals, the ones that are in there right now. So going into the Integra, Andrew, oh God damn. Okay, so the camera didn't want to focus a second, ago, a second ago, but Andrew's currently running some Momo pedals. We had these when we bought the car. But they just gotta go because, well, they don't really look that nice in our opinion. And Andrew was saying that the reason why he sucks at downshifting is the pedals are not aligned. See, look, that gas pedal is lower than the brake pedal and then the brake pedal is lower than the clutch pedal. So he's just saying he's got elevation issues or something. <laughs> So we picked up some Mugen pedals, which kind of took how long to come? Seven months. Yep. And uh, let me just insert a clip of what happened when he first got them. Did a whole ass year for this also. He finally got his, well, let's just open it and see what it is. Guys. Oh, oh. dude, they look so nice, bro. You want, you want, let me take it out so we can see. Oh, shit. Feel it, feel it, feel it. Yes, I mean, no, yes, it's yes, 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 yes. Why did Mugen have to do this? Why did it have to be hollow underneath? That really happened, guys. That was that was yeah. so stupid, bro. There's not really any damage, but like Mugen kind of messed up. Like there's no backing on the styrofoam of these things, which is kind of lame. Except for the gas, but look look what they did. Yeah, so on the back of the gas pedal, there's some backing, but the brake and clutch pedal don't have it. Yeah, real Mugen, guys. I damaged the corner right here, but it's fine. It's fine, yeah. It's gonna get damaged when Jacob drives it anyways, cause this guy just like, dude! To install these Mugen pedals is actually really easy, guys. You guys just have to drill a pilot hole, and then using the given hardware, these little plates and the screws, you put the plate behind the pedal right here, sandwiches, and boom, it's done. And if you don't want to run the Mugen pedals, you can always put the stock one back on. Besides that, we also have another piece for Jacob's car to finish off his little, little uh, restoration, I guess. Hell yeah, man. This thing I've been missing for so long. I also have these little side pieces too, which looks like this thing didn't come with a cap for some reason. What? Wait. It didn't come with a cap. What is this? The wiper hole, Oh dummy. yeah, the wiper hole. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I have all the windows down because I'm trying to air out the car and my ride height is kind of a little funky right now because the rears are a little too tall for my liking. And funny thing is, this is maxed out on Fortune Auto 500, so be prepared if you guys are trying to buy the same coilovers as me, you might need a rear lower spring. And I'm not trying to run an insane amount of camber, so this will have to do for now. So this is what it's looking like right now. It's a little bit uh, empty, naked. I got the wipers on. And yeah, uh, it's about to look a little bit less uh, ghetto. The last piece of the puzzle for the front end, the cow piece. 
Looks pretty clean. So you see, somebody drilled into them before. Whatever, but you guys see how it's just a cover? These though. Huh? What the <laughs> heck? They were just double sided tape? Yep, look at this one. I did not even know that. <laughs> we could have just removed it, honestly. How can I remove that slack? That slack? You see how, like, if I. Yeah, that I dead hit, room? Yeah. Uh, I think every car has that. What do you say? Oops. Yeah, just keep dropping that son of a gun, huh? It looks pretty nice, huh? It looks nice. So guys, I got one of the screws in. You guys have to kind of like, I don't know, hold it at a kind of weird angle. But after you do, put a little sunken Allen screw in there. There you go, Mugen pedal installed. Look at this. Just kidding, I haven't tightened it down yet. It's easier, guys, to visualize how the pedals go on without it being inside the cabin. But basically... You put this pedal on there, you peel the backing off, freaking use this ledge and push upwards, press in, and it's gonna hold, be held on by the double-sided tape. And then you're gonna take this little bracket that they give you, and then it should go on something like this. So I just realized that I completely forgot about this last thing that I forgot to slap on my car, and this thing was super expensive. So in this box, I have four of these. You guys probably know what these are. I picked up some Advan Racing Center Caps. These things, I went with the full flat. They have a whole bunch of variety of what size and color that you want. There's like flat, this is the full flat, and then there's mid and tall. But this one, I think looks the best. So yeah, it comes with full flat, flat, middle, and there's also a tall option. And it also comes with a little bit of anti-seize. So I'm just gonna apply that, smack them in, and I think it'll make the car look a lot better. Holy crap, this thing is pretty sticky. Well, clearly you don't have a lot of experience with women. Nope. Hit me up, guys. I need some bras, too. Psych. <laughs> Psych, don't you fucking think for the slightest second that I'm into you, bras. You actually need a mallet for uh, slapping these things in because they get kind of tight. No cap. Don't worry, I'm not damaging the wheels, okay? Don't damage my wheels, fool. My, your wheels? I paid for it. What the hell are you talking about? What you on about, bro? In the last video- Ah! Oh, <laughs> Dude, I can't believe I just did that. I got that again. I can't believe I just- Look! What? That's not fake. I literally- I actually just did that. You know, Andrew's more of a distraction than a helper, okay? Ooh, looks nice. Yep, the plastic- the gas pedal is actually- Gas pedal is actually removable, but this thing is such a hard plastic. Look at that. I kind of broke it, but. You see why these pedals are gonna make me a heel toe better? Because it has a little extension plate right here. Well, a few hours later, this guy finally got it done. And uh, they look pretty nice. Eee. Mugen pedals are actually universal for uh, a lot of the cars. They're not totally universal, but they're like universal across certain models. So. These can basically be swapped with the NSX pedals, as well as my pedals, but only for the clutch and brake, not the gas pedal. I do want Mugen pedals for my car, but they're like so hard to find. Uh, let us know what you guys think. They look pretty nice. Man, I thought it was R34 wheels, but fuck. Jeez. Well, it looks sick anyway. There's another one right there. There's a party over here. All right, so we're here. We're gonna be waiting for our food. But in the meantime, I do have some new stickers that I wanna show you guys. You guys might be already familiar with these two. This is the last oil slick, but I'm saving it for myself. We might restock, not sure just yet. But these are the two new designs. This is the Team Seekers and Andrew designed this one. But I are... designed all of them, you mean? Oh yeah, you designed all of them. Props to you, dude. So these are the blue oil slicks. And then they also come in white and they're also gonna come in this oil slick color as well. So this is gonna be basically replicating the same effect as the oil slick. So we're gonna be releasing them in this video. Feel free to uh, head to the website. Oh, oh nah, Nick, nah, 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 that don't count, that don't count, that don't count, that don't count. That's my fucking cousin, bro. What Dude, the, fuck? the right. sound of disappointment. Yeah, all right, <laughs> try again, try again. Three, two, one, go, go, go. I know a lot of you guys did. Oh, we got a winner! Yeah! Shout out Julius, bro. Right here, right here. We're gonna send you a DM. Instagram is BTP. I'm a terrible live streamer, bro. This bro is turning it sideways. I saw that. 